Chelsea friends, it's Carolina from alwayssuspectmore.com. I'm Craftmore on Instagram if you haven't found me there yet. And today we're doing block 12 of the Quilty 5K, and that is the Hourglass Quilt Block. Are you ready? Let's get started. For the Hourglass Quilt Block, I'm doing something that you've seen me do before, which is cut two pieces at the same time. I have the sweet pink squared up and underneath this, and then my banana cream on top. And I'm going to cut start by cutting the largest piece which is the three and seven eighths now eight eighths would be four up to four inches so we're gonna go one eighth away from four inches there we go that's three and seven eighths and then I'll cut off my selvages I need one three and seven eighths inch piece and then four two inch pieces so three and seven eighths inches and I need one of each so I'm putting the other two away and then I need four two inch pieces of each and it's gonna be so easy to mix up the scrap from the two inch piece because they're only an eighth of an inch apart in size so make sure that you toss that scrap into your scrap bin right away so it doesn't get mixed up so there we go I have all the pieces that I need for my hourglass quilt block to stitch up our hourglass block we need to make two different units these large pieces are going to become two half square triangle units and these small pieces are going to become four patches So just like that. So to make our four patches, we're gonna stitch these two together and these two together. And same with this set, we'll stitch these two together and these two together. Once those are stitched, then we'll press towards the pink and then we'll stitch the top and bottom together and we'll have our four patches, super simple. To make the half square triangle unit, we're going to go ahead and draw a line down on the diagonal with our chalk marker, our chalk pencil. There we go. And we're gonna stitch a quarter of an inch over on each side and then cut it in half. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of that and I'm going to use these pieces to stitch between as I chain piece. So watch, I'll stitch. quarter inch on this side. Then I'm going to grab two of these four patch units and stitch. Then I can cut and stitch the other side. And I do this because lots of machines, when you cut your thread, the very first couple stitches after you've cut your thread, like to get sucked up into the sewing machine. I'm gonna go ahead and keep stitching these four patch units. So there's two ways to com combat having thread sucked into the machine. One way is by chain piecing. And the other is by using something after each seam to hold your thread. So you could do just a piece of fabric that's been folded in half that you shove under every time and people call those thread buddies. And the other option is a leader ender. And a leader ender is where you just have pre-cut pieces of fabric that are ready to go that are basically a quilt and for me this is a little scrap quilt and I've cut a bunch of squares, half square triangles and quarter square triangles that are all going to go into this gigantic scrap quilt when I'm all done. Or I mean it could be a small scrap quilt, it'll be whatever size it is when it's done. And I just keep stitching up my scraps that way and it's a great use of scraps while I'm also 
keeping my thread from getting sucked into my machine. So I'm going to go ahead and cut on the line here, and I've cut apart all my units. And now I just need to press everything towards the pink. I'm going to go ahead and cut off all my dog ears on these half square triangles already. And then I'm going to set up these quarter square triangle, or excuse me, four patch units. And the four patch units need to get put together like that and like that. So I'm just going to stitch those up. Now these pieces, I can spin the seams. This is going this direction, this is going this direction. So I spin those in the same circle. And same here. And now I can press. And now I'm ready to lay out the whole block. There we go. I'll stitch these two together to make the top row, these two together to make the bottom row. I'm going to press towards the half square triangles and then I'm going to stitch the top and bottom together and I'll have my block done. Now I need to lay everything out one last time to make sure that I have it correct. I do, and then I can stitch the top and bottom together. Now you can spin these seams and press one last time. There we go. Our glass quilt block is complete. And that's how easy it is to make the hourglass quilt block. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. Make sure you have given this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, and I'm sure you're subscribed, but make sure that you are subscribed and you hit that bell so you get notifications every time there's a new block in our Quilty 5K. You can also find me on Instagram at craftmore, C-R-A-F-T-M-O-O-R-E, and remember, there are worksheets that show you how to make the six inch, 12 inch, and 18 inch versions of these blocks on my website, and it also also includes coloring sheets so that you can design full quilts using these blocks.